Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Sims 101 where I my tutorial series where I go through the basics of looking after your sim. So as I logged in to um, set things up, we had an event happen, the welcome wagon, which usually happens when your sim first moves into a neighborhood. You'll get three random sims um, popping up and they will come and knock on the door. So you can invite your neighbors in. If you click on the sim that you want to talk to, you'll get a range of options and you can choose from one of those options. So I've just told Vincent, invite your neighbors in. So they are now all invited in. And as it turns out, they are perfect um, participants for showing, for me to explain to you how to keep your sim alive. Let's just pause here for a second. And if down here in the corner, you have a lot of icons and so on. If you mouse over them, it will tell you what the different icons mean. As I said, I have all of the sim packs and stuff. Sim packs, sorry, <laughs> all the stuff packs and expansion packs and so on. So depending on what you have, you may or may not see, like for example, clubs. Actually, I think clubs was something that was introduced to everybody. I think it was, but then to expand on that, you had the, uh, it's the pack that introduced Windenburg. I can't remember the name of the pack right now. So actually, I think all of these all come with the base game, but then to expand on certain things, you need the, the expansion pack or the stuff pack. So down here, you have this one that looks like a happy face with a lightning bolt next to it, and that's your needs meter. If you click on it, or you press O, you will see that you have six needs that you need to take care of for your sim. If they're in the green, that's brilliant. That means your sim's happy. Um, you know, they, they you don't need to do any, you don't need to do much with them. When they're in the orange, it's kind of like, well, you know, you need to do something about it, but they're okay. When it's in the red, that's when you're about to have a, um, a failure of one of these socials. And, you know, something catastrophic will happen. So if the energy was down in the red and the meter was all the way down here, then that means your sim is going to pass out from exhaustion. If it was, you know, down in the red and down here, it means your sim is going to, is going to have extreme hunger and so on and so forth. If your sim gets to the point where everything is down in the red, then they could possibly die. Some people like to play the sims so that they can find the most hilarious ways for their sims to die. I like to keep my sims alive for as, month, as long as possible, but it's up to you. So basically each game of sims, of, of the sims, is, you know, trying to keep your sim happy, trying to keep them alive, trying to, you know, cater to all their wants and their needs and so on. Or maybe not, you might decide that you're going to be their, their overlord and you're going to tell them what to do. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. So, Vincent, at the moment, is happy. His social's up, he doesn't need to really talk to anybody. His fun's up, he's quite happy. He doesn't need to go and use the toilet. He's not hungry, he's not sleepy, he's not stinky. So now that his, now that these people have come, he now has the potential to have friends. At the moment, he's only friends with Yogi, his puppy. But if we click on one of these people and have a friendly introduction, because he doesn't know them yet, he's just invited them in, then you'll get to know them and their relationship will show up here. Okay, let's start the game again. Right, so go and introduce yourself to Liberty, I believe that is. Ah, so. Balco? Who's Balco now? Uh -huh. Okay, so everyone, so when the welcome wagon comes, they all bring fruitcake. I don't know why. And the fruitcake uh, depends. But So now he's talked to, to Liberty, he's introduced himself, and she's popped up in his relationship panel, as you can see here. But you'll notice with Yogi, it's in the green, and it's halfway through, almost halfway through, so that they're friends. But with Liberty... 
it's not because he doesn't know her very well. They're only acquaintances. So the more that they talk, the more the more in the green it will go. Uh, introduce yourself to oh no, well he's oh no because he he in, he invited her in, so she's he has more interactions. But I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why she's not showing up on this relationship panel yet. Maybe because he hasn't talked to her. Right, ask about her day. Where's the other dude gone? Oh, he's there. Because the, my Sims have high free will, so they all go and do what they want to do. Okay. Great new neighbour. And now that you've greeted Travis, Travis now shows up. So Travis, Summer and Liberty have all showed up on this relationships panel. And then if he wants to maintain relationships with these people, well then he can chat to them, he can call them on the phone, he can invite them over, he can do different things with them. And let's just scroll out and see what Summer is doing. Summer? Yes. I don't know what she's doing. Right, Benson, I really want you to go get your dog. Um, bring her in. Pick up. Yeah, go pick up your dog and bring her inside because puppies can't get up the stairs. <laughs> so I just want him to go and get her and bring her in, bring her inside. He did fill up the pet bowl. I told him to fill up the pet bowl. Okay. Pick her up. Go on, pick her up. Good, good, good. Now, put Yogi down there. And then we can go back to interactions and keeping your sim happy. So when sims come to visit your house, they will just treat it as their own. So, you know, they'll go use your computer, they'll watch your TV. Um, they don't really help themselves to things out the fridge because that's frowned upon. So if you do that in anyone else's house, they get very upset. But um, oh, they don't like you sleeping in their bed either. But other than that, you know, you can pretty much, you know, do as you would do with your friends. Okay, so let's let let's let them let's put it on ultra speed. And let's see what they do. With The Sims 4, there is a high degree of autonomy. And also, they will do multiple things at the same time. So they will now sit and chat or sit and eat and eat and read and sit on the toilet and read and do multiple things. Before, it used to be one thing or the other. If you wanted them to go and talk, they would go and talk. Okay. The welcome wagon just left. They have notifications. You'll see that you'll see um, your notifications pop up here, and if you click on this, you can auto expand them. So if there's a long one, it will bring up um, the entire text. And if you want to, you can close it. But if you want to see your notifications at any time, you click on like the notepad, and it will show you all the notifications. So Summer told them just now we should probably go welcome again, and when they leave. They'll always tell you, I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. And then they go. And then after that, it's up to you to decide how you want to um, further that relationship. Whether you want to be friends with them or not. You can fight with them. Some people, you know, there's some, as in real life, there's some people you don't get on with. And you end up hating them. And then this meter here, instead of being in the green, it will be in the red. And the more it fills up with red, the more you dislike that person. <laughs> so, you know, like I said, it all depends on, oh, you want to go out and wee. That's what, another thing. You have to look at the bubbles over their heads to see what they want. All right, take her outside. No, don't sit down. Um, ask to go potty. But yeah, if you pay attention to the bubbles over their heads. Okay, we'll take her outside, Vincent. Uh, 
arm let out. Go, let her out. Or is she going to go down there and... Really? Sometimes you have to walk them through what they're supposed to do for the intelligence that be some... Oh, the door locked? Okay. Home. Set as front door. It's already set as the front door. Lock door four. No. Oh, maybe because the door is closed. I don't know why she doesn't want to go down. Go out. Okay. Put her here. Put her here, Vincent. So, Vincent, you've, you know, and you can't control animals. I should have mentioned that before. You can see, you can see them, but you can't control them. Okay. You go and do what you need to do, Yogi. And Vincent now needs to explain to us what's wrong. As you can see, some of his needs are yellow. So he wants to go to the toilet and he's hungry. Sometimes Sims will solve their problems for themselves. So he's hungry, he's gone, gotten something to eat, but he doesn't like it very much. And he's gotten an uncomfortable moodlet from eating the fruitcake. I don't know why they always get it, but they always get it. And now he's uncomfortable. The background to his icon is red. His plum bob's yellow. And he's not very happy. But it's filling up his hunger need. So his hunger's back in the green. His bladder is yellow. He wants to go and use the toilet. So depending on how bad it is, he might, you know, he might go now, he might go later. Let's see what he does. Let's keep an eye on his bladder. Now it's gone into the red. And he's gone to use the toilet. All right, Benson, did I make you a bookworm? I don't think I did. Let's tell the dog to go use the go use the toilet. Why is there a wet patch? Did the dog wet themselves? He was thinking about puddles. I don't know if the dog wet itself or not. Okay, and then you can praise the dog. Let me pause it because sometimes they move too fast for me. You can praise the dog. Uh, more choices. No. Praise. There you go. So then the more you praise an animal for doing stuff, the more, the, the more often they will do the good things because you've praised them. A bit like, you know, humans. Oh, she's gone again. Oh, gross. Um, okay. And I think we need to throw that away. Because, you know, be a responsible owner and pick up after your pet. Alright, pick up Yogi and let's go back inside. So now all of Vincent's needs are in the green, but he's still uncomfortable from his um, fruitcake. For a minute I forgot what that was. He's not very happy from having to clean up the pet poop, but that's what you have from, being a, from having a pet. But he's happy, you know, from hugging his dog. All right, let's all go inside. Put Yogi down here. And it's getting late. It's eight o'clock in the evening. Let's put away the fruit cake. Actually, no, he doesn't like it. Let's just throw it away. <laughs> and now Vincent's starting to get a bit tired. So click on the bed, tell him go to sleep. Yogi may or may not go to sleep too, but that's basically how you keep your sim alive. It's very simple. It's um, it's all very self-explanatory. And once your sim is sleeping, your time meter will automatically go at ultra speed. Unless there's somebody else in the house doing something, then it would slow back down to one. 
but unless you unless you tell them to unless you tell it to it will go at super speed until he wakes up and now he's uncomfortable like uncomfortable again if you hover over it it will tell you why because he's hungry and he'll become ravenous in 24 hours so if you left him he will get down to it will go to a bright red and he'll be very hungry and chances are he will die of starvation and we don't want that to happen so we'll leave Vincent eating his breakfast we will no I think that's full so that don't have to worry about that Vincent has a job but unfortunately let's see he starts in two days is there a job he can start now I don't think so There's, but there's, even if your sim doesn't have a job, but you want to make money, there's lots of ways to make money in the sims. So, for example, if you go in, when you go through the worlds, you will see something like this, a rock like that. If you hover over it, you'll see your cursor turns into a gear. That means you can interact with it, as opposed to, for example, this tree, which is just a decoration, and you get the red circle with the line through it. So you have these dig spots... They're rocks you can dig out. Or over here is another one. I don't know why it's... Oh, it's a mushroom. Oh, yes, because it's sparkling. So it's a plant. You can harvest it. And you can... You can get your, your sim to click on it. And interact with it. And whatever they get out of it, you can sell it. Okay. What are you doing? Vincent. Put it on two so it's going at like half speed so some some sometimes you can play where your sim has nothing and has to live off the land let's get you fishing as well because that will bring up your skill and you can learn things so when the sim is learning something you'll see that little um like test tube appear over their head and it will fill with green Let's just speed this up a little bit. So the more they learn, the more it will fill up with green. Once it's filled all the way up, it will spin round, empty out and start back again. Once it's filled up, it will. that's a skill point that that sim has learned in a particular skill. And you have different types of skills. You have skills that you can, can learn in the world, so things like fishing, and um programming let me see he's a he's a tech support so he should learn programming you can learn that on the computer and there's other things and then there's things such as that are hidden skills such as dancing and i can't remember any more off the top of my head but i know dancing is one of them so if we had a radio actually we should get a radio for him that would help to increase his fun if he needs to Yes, we have enough money. So we've gone into build mode. Search by function. Wow, you're taking a long time today. Electronics. Audio. And I will get a residential wall speaker. And then I could put it up on the wall. I don't have to but worry about placing it on a surface. Let's get a nice black one and we'll put it here in the kitchen. So if we turn it, oh yeah, if we turn it on and we'll put it to Electronica. So it will automatically turn on. The closer you get to it, I think the louder it is. Yes, and also you can change the volume as well. So if I set it to high, you can hear it. And the further away you go, you know, because it's, it's pretty cool, actually. And then if I go fast, the music, did I change? Actually, no, I've changed it in the settings so that the music doesn't change tempo because that, that really used to bother me. But you go fast and the music's going fast as well. 
Um, hello, I'm con contacting you on behalf of BeFit as a federal company. We'd like to send you a free sample of our newest product, Hits Earbuds. If you'd like to buy more, we accept online orders through the computer. We also make a treadmill, rock climbing wall, and offer fitness videos via your TV. Be well. Okay, let's get free earbuds. So if you click on here, this little chest, that's his inventory. And these are all the things that he has. So here's the mushrooms that he got from earlier. If you click on it, you can eat them, you can plant them, but you can just drag it out onto the grass and plant it. We could place it in the world. The mysterious times capsule, you can open it. And there's the earbuds, which you can't do anything with. You can either put them in or place them in the world. These two things, as you can see, the cursor's changed to a hand, so you can grab it and you can drag it over to the big simoleon and you can sell it. It'll ask you, do you want to? You say, okay. And same with the capsule. And you've sold it and he's got some money. So let's leave Vincent to do his thing. I know, Yogi doesn't like. Yogi doesn't like the radio. Yogi, what's wrong with you? Oh well, never mind. Vincent likes it. It's Vincent we're concerned about. But we'll leave Vincent doing his thing. Just for a little bit. And then we'll get back to him. Alright, well I've left Vincent alone for about 20 real life minutes. I put it on fast forward. And basically all he's done is play with Yogi, read his book and dance. Nothing else. So I think we need to get out and about and we need to go and meet some people. His hunger's coming. He's, he's, he's starting to get hungry, which is good. So I think what we'll do is that... Oh, Yogi does not like the radio. I don't know if you could hear her in the background, but she's she's yowling. She doesn't like it. But what we'll do, we will let Vincent go out in the world and let's... Oh, we have an achievement. Have your sim do nothing social for 24 hours. Well, he's done nothing social really because he doesn't know anybody. So we need to remedy that. Oh, he's, he's gone for food. I didn't want you to get food, Vincent. I was going to, you know, send you out to a restaurant. But we can still go out somewhere. Right. Let us press the M key to bring up the map. And now we can choose where we want him to go. These areas here with the little icon above it, those are lots that other sim that you can go to these lots are houses and you can travel to them but there's no one living in them because it doesn't have a grayed out plum board plum bulb if it has a grayed out plum bulb that means there's someone living there so actually it was the bffs there's summer liberty and travis they live there so um vincent could go to their house and visit them but we're not going to do that. We're going to go to a, a lot. So you can go to a lot in your town or you can click on the world and depending on which packs you have in, you can go to other worlds. So Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, New, Newcrest, I think, are all with the base game as there's no, there's no icon next to it. But then these, Magnolia Promenade, Windenburg, San Myshuno, Forgotten Hollow, Brindleton Bay, Del Sol Valley and Strangerville, they all come with various expansion packs as evidence with the little icon next to the name. So you can click on any of these places and visit them. It doesn't cost anything for you to go there. But you can, you know, you have different things. So Oasis Springs is like a desert town. It has, um, I don't know where it has the dinosaur. Maybe you can find lots of fossils and stuff there. Newcrest is more of a, you know, a city, but not a built up city, not like San Myshino, where that, there is. 
but Newcrest is a bit more built up and so on. Actually, I think Newcrest, Newcrest has all empty lots and you can build what you want there. So you can download things from the gallery if you wanted to. And that's it. That's how you keep your sim occupied. And of course, I mean, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to tell you everything. And you can go in, you can have a play around and see what you can do. So now we've come back into Vincent and his bladder, bright red, he is close to bursting. So he goes to use the toilet and it will go back up. Sims are usually good at solving their own problems. So, oh, Vincent's. I thought Vincent cooked for himself before, obviously not, because he just acquired the cooking skill. Once they've tried something for the first time, then they've acquired that skill. Yeah, if you've got to scrape it out of the pan like that, I don't think it's edible. It's almost six in the morning and Vincent starts work in five hours. Because he starts uh, at ten. And also, when you have a job, it would give you how much you make, how many vacation days you have, your work time and what you need to bring up your performance. Usually you have a daily task which is to play video games. He's obviously done some of it by himself to bring up his fun but he needs to do a bit more. So after he has breakfast we'll get him to bring up to play video games and the little numbers that keep popping up here those are like points that you get for doing certain things he's getting them right vincent you think are you going to take out the garbage okay let's let you take out the garbage because if you leave it it will grow a trash plant on the lawn and we don't want that right go play a game and play sims forever right let's follow vincent and let's see if we can see over his shoulder so he's playing a game that looks remarkably like Sim The Sims 2. I think it is. I think it is The Sims 2 that he's playing, which is quite funny. But that should... I see now he's 75% done. We click on 3. Yeah, I don't know why he's getting little points for that. Okay, it's complete. So we can either leave him playing his video games and he is, what's, oh he's getting the video gaming skill from that. Oh, Yogi just aged up. Alright, that's a surprise. I didn't think she would. Yogi has grown from a poppy to an adult dog. She can now swim, climb stairs, go for walks and start learning tricks. If not splayed, she can now mate with other dogs. Hooray for Yogi. Well, let's just have a look. Where are you going, Vincent? Oh, he's off to work. We've got everything going on at the moment. And the fridge is in the way. So there's Yogi. Quite a large dog. We see you, Vincent. 
and um, you can see from her affection meter how, how good of a friend she is with Vincent. And as it said, you can take her for walks, you can teach her to do things, and she can pretty much look after herself. Vincent, on the other hand, is going off to work. So let's see what Yogi gets up to while Vincent's not there. She sits down a lot. And also, when you have friends, you will get lots of incoming text messages. It sometimes gets really annoying. They really spam you with text messages. And you can't, you can't replay text messages that you get, it looks like. But people will send you text, people that you've talked to will send you text messages and usually it's inviting you to do something so if your acquaintances with that person they might say well look you know there's something going on let's let's go and let's go out somewhere and also while your sims at home at, at home sorry at work you sometimes you get these coming up these chance cards potentially awkward conversation vincent sees that the next customer in the chat queue is an old flame of his and things didn't ex didn't exactly end prettily. The other agents are tied up. Should he respond to the chat request or pretend not to notice? Well, seeing that, you know, Vincent's an adult and he's moved on and I'm sure that the other person has moved on, he's going to begin the chat. Lucky for Vincent, the relationship wasn't as memorable as he thought, or at least the flame doesn't acknowledge his name or chat picture. Vincent meets the customer service needs and avoids an awkward confrontation. Performance gains small. And we've got another text message. So you've got everything coming in now. Someone else wants him to join another club. But you'll get text messages, you'll get um, chance cards. And with the chance cards, you get some kind of gain or loss from it. And it's, I mean, it's nothing huge, it's nothing game-breaking. If you get one wrong, it's not like, you know, you've lost the game or something. It just adds a little bit of spice to your game, basically. All right, and when you have messages come in, the time meter goes back to one. I don't know why it does that. So let's put it back to three so it can always come home. Okay, so Vincent got some money. It will tell you how much he bought home. If you go to his job, I think it will show you his performance. So it was excellent. So probably tomorrow he will get a promotion. And it just tells you the daily task. But basically that's how you keep your sim happy. And today we've looked at Vincent and his job. We've looked at his needs. We've looked at Yogi's needs. Yogi's... Yogi um, aged up, which was awesome. And um, I showed you the basics on how to how to meet people so you can you can make friends. That's it for this episode. Please like, comment and subscribe for more great content. It will help to grow my channel. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>